Yo, this is a public service announcement for all of y'all watching my video today. Please, please make sure you wear sunglasses because this fluorescent white ass pale Casper looking skin will blind you. Jesus, man, I took the beard off and I'm damn near clear. You can't even tell this shit got a pigment. I need a tan quickly. Somebody got a hookup in a tropical island, let me know. I'll give you shout outs for the rest of your life because Vitamin D deficiency is real. And New York's weather is suspect. Mother Nature has got her period because it can't be snowing one day and then 75 the next day. We are about to die, so I need to get a tan because I can't die this fucking clear. Roll my goddamn music before I blind y'all. You sexy motherfucker. Blessed morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. This your boy, C to the U to the B to the A. And I'm here to bring you a fun video today because all my videos are always so boring, aren't they? Slap you. Video I'm bringing you today is of a fragrance that I have a love-hate relationship with. More of a hate-hate relationship, but this one kind of intrigued my interest. So the fragrance that I'm going to review today has been hyped. It's a flank of fragrance from a throwback club banger everybody and their mama owned. Maybe 70% of y'all own. Me personally, I hated the shit. I hated that shit. The fragrance that I'm talking about that I hated is Le Mans by Jean-Paul Coutier. I hated Le Mans. There was nothing sexy about it. That shit gave me a super headache. And this was the time that I was clubbing, popping my ass, you know what I'm saying? Putting out my chesticles. Trying to bag up shorties like, yo, let me get that number. No, okay, but thank you. I just bought you three drinks, you whore. Everybody and their mother was wearing Lamont and shiny glittery shirts and tight ass v-necks with diesel and all that bullshit on it. And I couldn't stand it. I tried it for a little bit and I just, oh my God, I just wanted to throw up. So I said, fuck a dude named Jean-Paul Gaultier, I ain't fucking with you. The fragrance that I'm talking about that I potentially took back my fuck Jean-Paul Gaultier is none other than Ultramall by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Again with this torso, I can't, like, look, he's got a chest, like pecs. We don't do pecs. We need man breasts, you know what I'm saying, with sports bras to hold them up nice and firm. Yeah, I got a whole bottle. It's a tester. You know I didn't pay retail. Let's keep it 100. I got a sample before I bought the whole bottle. My nose, like a wine connoisseur, the more you drink wine and smell wine and get your nose and your palate accustomed to wine, you start appreciating and noticing the different nuances. Big word. I said, let me give Jean-Paul Lamont a shot. A lot of people have been saying it's amazing. I've heard a few people say it's got the DNA, but it's not Lamar. So I'm like, okay, let me get a sample. I got a sample and I was pleasantly, pleasantly surprised. It still had the Lamar DNA, which make, make me, made me look at it kind of cross-eyed like, hmm, this bitch is back. But it was far enough to the left that I enjoyed it. And for me to say that I enjoyed the Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance was like, Phew fucking explosive because I just didn't like them. I didn't. I tried to smell Popeye. That shit gave me a headache. Lamont, we already know how I feel about that. But this one was really a little bit to the left. Maybe because this is just my perspective. The bergamot and vanilla and pear combination made it Lamont DNA. I didn't have to be reminded of, you know, early 2000s, late 90s clubbing. You know what I'm saying? Twerking or well, the twerking wasn't popping back there, but doing like, you know, some dutty wine or some shit. Just saying. This fragrance is actually really nice. My shorty liked it, which is very important. It's got the vanilla. It's got a warm spiciness to it. It's definitely got a pear fruitiness to it. That just really, it's really well composed. But also, this shit is Beast. Projection is ridiculous. Fucking longevity of it is nasty as fuck. It's insane. Like this shit, you will smell like this fucker all day. At least on me, 
I smelled like this shit all day. And I didn't get a headache, so that's a fucking improvement, I say. All in all, for a Jean-Paul Gaultier fragrance to not give me a headache, that's success. Fuck it. It was well worth the money that I paid. I don't remember how much I paid. It was probably like, in the 20s somewhere, I forget. But it was cheap enough that I said, all right, let me give it a fucking, a real, a real shot. And I don't feel bad about it. It's a good fragrance. I'm happy I have it in my collection. Jean-Paul Gaultier, you're slightly redeemed for now. Come out with any other shit because I feel like, you know, this has gotten as good as it's gonna get and you're gonna end up fucking it up. You that type. It's a dope fragrance. I definitely suggest y'all trying it out. Get a sample, please. Because if you had the, the distaste for Jean-Paul Gaultier like I did, make sure that it's, you know, up to par with what your nose or what people are gonna smell on you and you're gonna enjoy it. Whatever the fuck that means. I don't even know what I just said, but you know what I mean. I appreciate y'all coming back. I'm almost at 2,000 subscribers. Start telling your aunts and your cousins and the babies that be watching YouTube videos of building blocks to just get on my page and subscribe. They can learn some new updated language. You know, what's wrong with having like a three or four year old calling you, you like, you know, a dirty cum guzzling gutter slut? I don't think there's any pers I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Do you? Really? It's bad, huh? Oh. Then disregard what I just said because, you know, other people are looking at me funny. Keep giving me thumbs up or giving me thumbs down. I don't give a fuck. Do what you wanna do. I'm gonna bring you more fucking videos, more fun shit. I'm gonna start buying more decants, yo. I'm really gonna start buying more decants. I can't be buying bottles like that anymore. I've, listen, the struggle is real. I'm trying to buy a house. I need to buy, you know, shit for the wives. Wife, wife. This is an expensive ass hobby. I love it. I wouldn't change it for the world, but this shit gets pricey. Even with the discounts that I find, this shit is money. So, decants is gonna be coming. Don't criticize me. Shout out to all the reviewers using decants and not buying whole bottles because shit is expensive. Come back next week, you bunch of motherfuckers. I love y'all from the chest and balls. Oh yeah, the heart too, whatever. I see you. You know who it is. It's your boy. Smooches!